Hey everyone, it's Tim Holtz and I'm here at Sizzix headquarters. Now, did you know that there are so many different materials you can cut with a steel rule die? In fact, when I started with Sizzix, one of my favorite things about the company was the fact that they create steel rule dies. And what that is, that is a die that's actually made out of a steel blade. It's not these little thin dies, it's actually a thicker die, which means we can cut thicker things. Now, every single release, I like to actually debut a different font. And this year I debuted three different fonts. We've got this hand cut kind of upper, lower, and script. But every single time that these fonts come out, that means some other fonts are going away. So when you see them, you definitely get them. It's a great, great value. And here are all the things we can cut with steel rule dies. We're gonna start up here with just our mixed media stuff, watercolor cardstock. Even though we have uh, different types of paper, you can cut paper with a steel rule die. It doesn't always have to be something chunky. But as we go in, we can see that we can even cut things like mat board or book board, thick things for thick dies. We can cut chipboard. This could be the back of a notebook. This could be any type of chipboard, thick or thin. You could even cut up cardboard boxes, so any of the boxes that you have, save them and cut them out. And the value of having an alphabet, of course, this can be any type of shape with a steel rule, but an alphabet allows me to spell things on all of my mixed media projects. You can go into things like fabric, so craft felt. Even though it's fuzzy and has all the fibers, you can still cut through it with a steel rule die. Even wool felt, and you can see the detail of that. Any little swirl or bend still cuts with the steel rule die. It's amazing. Then you can cut kind of funky things like any of those funky fabrics, whether they are adhesive backed or not. This happens to be an adhesive backed fabric. Burlap, all of those different fibers, this is adhesive backed burlap. It will cut through both layers with ease because it's steel rule die. Leather, we're not talking thin stuff either. This is thick leather. You can also do any type of craft leather that you want to colorize or texturize later. Thinner fabrics like linen, you can even cut through linen, all those little fibers and threads cut with a steel rule die. Here we have some chambray, which kind of looks like denim, so you can use any of your old scraps of fabric or even any of your old clothes that you want to cut up and use for craft. It's a great way to repurpose them. Down here we have different types of materials like a flocked paper, a flocked paper that has that fuzzy layering that also has an adhesive back. We've got adhesive back corrugate. You can buy this in a variety of colors. And what's great about a steel rule die, it has foam in it, so it doesn't crush the texture. That's very cool to be able to cut textured things. We've got cork. Now this is a thick cork. This is like a bulletin board cork that you can cut. You can see all those chunks. It still cuts through that. Even finer cork. It doesn't crumble or fall apart because that steel rule blade is going to cut through it. Wood veneer, whether it's going to be an adhesive back veneer or just a regular thin wood veneer, it cuts and it doesn't splinter it or fray that wood. So cool. Down here, there's different types of plastic. So we can do uh, acetates or vinyl. We can even do craft foam. This is really great because not only can I cut this thick foam, but I can make my own foam stamps using my favorite steel rule dies. It's great. There's even that sparkly decorative foam. And you can see that even when you cut that, you don't lose any of the detail of that adornment or decoration on top. Sparkly things like glitter paper or deco sheets, anything with sparkle on there. And again, you can see just how clean that cuts. It amazes me, the detail of that. Now we can get into different types of plastic. Not only does it cut thin acetate, but it will cut thicker acetate. So you can make your clear letters that you can paint, use alcohol ink on. Save all that plastic packaging. This one is a thin plastic packaging. So anything that comes in that, you can repurpose that too and cut it with your steel rule die. Then you can go down here and you can see that there's other things like vinyl. If you have any type of thin vinyl that you want to create your own cling, you can cut that with a steel rule die. Then we've got kind of some sparkly metallic plastic. Play around with different materials, everything from repurposing soda cans to any of that material that you think, will this cut? Give it a try. You'll be surprised how much a steel rule die cuts. This one, really cool, one of my favorites. This is Ideology Mirrored. And this is a very heavyweight plastic that actually cuts and gives a mirrored finish. So that die, even though it cuts through, it doesn't distort it at all. You can see here that we've got thin things like adhesive back aluminum or adhesive back tin. You can cut through that with ease. And even though it's very thin, it doesn't embed it into the die. It makes it really easy to then repurpose those. Here, this is just a copper sheet. So you can buy any of that rolled metal at the craft store and you can cut through metal, pretty cool, or screen. Any of that metal screen or mesh, the sky is the limit when it comes to cutting with a steel rule die. So over here, you can see that we've taken some different materials and already placed it down on your die. There's a lot of ways to use it. I'm specifically talking about an alphabet, but again, any of your steel rule dies, all of these materials apply. 
When I use an alphabet, what I like to do is take those mediums and actually cut them to fit that specific letter. This way I'm not running an entire alphabet at once unless you plan on using the whole alphabet. But here there's different materials placed on different letters. And what I'm going to do is sandwich them with cutting pads. Now if you plan on cutting the entire die, especially on a Biggs XL, you are going to need extended cutting pads which do not come with the Vagabond or Big Shot. So you're going to need those separate and that's going to allow you to run your entire die through. I'm going to sandwich it. I have one on the bottom already. I'm going to place another one directly over the top of this. I'm going to place it into my Vagabond. Now this one, this is where I really like the Vagabond because this is a big long die that's going to run through. So I'm going to go in, press that down, and just wait. Wait for everything to come right through. Now I'll talk a little bit about the steel rule die and how it works. So let me set this down and just share with you that when you're cutting things out, here is how the whole die works. You can see here that the die itself is thick. It's in a plastic housing and the blade itself is embedded into wood under the die. Okay? And there is an actual steel blade and that is why it's covered in foam. The foam is there to protect you so there is no exposed blade on the surface of the die. You never want to press down with your fingers because that's going to reveal the blade. But what's nice about this foam cushion, as I mentioned, is all of those textured mediums allow you to cut because that foam will compress as it's cutting and it cuts cleanly, which is absolutely amazing. Now a couple of other tips. If you don't plan on running the entire die at one time, let's say we're just going to cut a few things on part of the die, you can still use your standard cutting pads if you're only going to cut in that one area. The only time you need the extended cutting pads is if you want to cut the entire thing in one pass. Make sense? All right. So let's see what we've been able to cut out. A couple of cool things here is that we've got different materials. So here we've got a corget. That's really cool. Now take a look here. We've, we're spelling a word here. And so this one, because we needed two letters, we needed two A's, we're able to stack our mediums because again, it is a steel rule die. That's pretty cool. All right. We're going to go down here. Take this. All right, I'll place this down so you can see. So this one, wool felt, one of my favorites. We've got here, this is that veneer I was talking about. Look how clean that cuts. So cool. All right, we've got this one. We've got a little sparkly foam. Even that thick foam, because it's going to squish down, it's going to allow us to cut that out. There we go. And we've got this one. Take a look, that is leather. And that is a really skinny piece of leather, but you can see that it still cuts and how clean those corners are with a thick piece of leather. And we've got that. We've got our other little chambray piece. And then right here, we're going to finish, of course, with cork. Look at that, all the different materials you can cut with your favorite Sizzix steel dies.